Carnival rides sit idle tonight. This after violent and unruly crowds created an unsafe atmosphere for families. One of those encounters ended with gunfire, leaving a teenager dead. It is Monday night. I'm Gray Hall with Shari Williams. The big story tonight on Action News is several planned carnivals now called off following bouts of disorderly behavior. Four carnivals in our area have been canceled. Two of them were already underway when the violence erupted. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us now live in Wilmington with the details from there. Caroline. Well, Shari and Gray, you can see the Ferrisville behind me is all lit up tonight, but crews behind me, they are tearing everything down right now. Organizers of this carnival tell me that they were forced to shut it down early after a shooting in this parking lot outside of the Concord Mall on Saturday night. And we've learned that this is not the only event that's been had to been canceled recently due to safety issues. On what should have been another day of fun, it was a day of cleanup. The Lead Fest Carnival outside the Concord Mall in Wilmington is officially over because of a shooting that happened after the event on Saturday night. About five to ten minutes after I and, and the security guards cl closed the gate is when uh, it happened. Delaware State Police say shots were fired after a fight broke out near the entrance of the carnival. Two teenagers were shot. One of them, a 16 year old, died at the hospital. We hear complaining about not riding rides and someone lost their life. It's just a sad situation. The situation prompted officials to make the decision to close the carnival. It's one of four events in our area that's been cut short or canceled altogether. In Chester County, the permit for the carnival outside the Exton Square Mall was revoked this weekend. Police say it was because of a disturbance on Saturday and this assault that happened at a business inside the mall after the carnival was over. In Brew Mall, the fire department decided not to host its annual carnival this year, citing crowd control issues and complaints about the behavior of those who attend. And in Bucks County, the annual carnival outside the Neshaminy Mall is a no-go. Then Salem's mayor says past safety issues led to the decision, which is a blow for Dreamland Amusements, the carnival operator for the past 20 years. This one hurt because uh, we've been there so long. Bob DeStefano says fights and incidents around these events have changed the amusement industry, forcing companies like his to take extra precautions. We've hired extra security guards. We've had a we have a canine dog on the weekend. Now here in Wilmington, carnival organizers tell us that they've taken similar precautions. They believe that their event is safe and they tell us that it was a really tough decision to ultimately decide to shut it down because this was a charitable event with all of the money raised going to law enforcement and drug prevention. We're live in Wilmington, Delaware. I'm Caroline Goggin for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Shari. So sad. Just a few really ruining it for everyone else. Okay, Caroline, thanks. Philadelphia police tell us they are.